Good evening, Vincent Happy Munisi. I am going to break down eight systems for you today. Um, I think this is one of my best books. Written. I think it's, it's for me. It's deep in, into control of the world, and uh, it's uh, as I say, one of my best books. Let's start. Eight systems. Africa needs to set up their own systems of governance. They can be, this can be achieved firstly by believing in their own ancestral cultural belief systems. Secondly, we also need to set up our own structural economic development system by uniting the African GDP. We need to sort out our own infrastructure related problems and economic problems. Is to nationalize all the reserve banks, which must print one African currency for Africa to intertrade within and to trade globally too. African, Africans steadily need to take over all mineral resources owned by multinational companies like the Arabs did with their own reserves. Africans need have to kick out the Rothschild, uh, Rothschild Debt Reserve Banking System, DBS, Anglo-Americans, and all Chinese investments must be relooked and rearranged too, or even paid back immediately. Fourthly, Africa needs to unite all military systems into one African Defense Force Army to stop all wars and to guard African borders. This book is written to awaken the African systematic world by Vincent Happy Munisi. This is the contents. <clears throat> introduction is on page two. I'm going to read the introduction. This um, Religious and economic social systems is in page four. Political systems and milita military systems in, on page 54. Ideal Human Systems, page 148, African Spiritual Systems, page 159, and Love Systems, on page 191. I'm just going to read the introduction to you. <clears throat> I've been writing and trying to awaken the African mind from European deception and introduction from 2010. I will not stop until I get my message through to every African in the world. This book... I'm writing now is aimed at everyone in the world who has been ruled by the elite 1% for over 2,000 years. This book will expose and unravel all the families and countries that benefited from the systems of slavery, colonization, communism, and our current capitalist economic, economic slavery system of human control. My narrative from the beginning of writing my books was African race and to drive for a political, economically, and culturally united Africa does not look to the West or East for ideas and financial backing, but looks within to itself to generate the next biggest ideas and capital too. When Europeans in 1881 divided and carved up a cake between themselves and took it to themselves to miseducate Africans from their true heritage on earth, Africa has now become a third world continent, always begging for American and European inked paper money with no real added value apart from stolen gold that sits in their reserve bank. As I'm quite certain, it's in England, I live here, so I'm quite certain about that. They give us worthless ink paper in exchange for our minerals. We then give them back papers in exchange for their products. A vicious circle of trade. Africa must wake up. It's time South Africa, South Africa has taken the lead by stating that we are getting all the minerals and land Rights back into 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 the government hands and leasing it out. That's the beginning. After after much research and soul searching, I've realized that Europeans are very manipulative and need to pay back Africa for the evil past of slavery, colonization, imperialism systems. They're still practicing neo-imperialism systems with Africa to this very very day. I've researched systems of control and what led to their developments and who who has drawn them into practice from slavery to our current economic slaves state of mind and, and being. I wanted to find out who drove them into, into practice, who benefited from their existence. The cur this current capitalistic system we have in place has been set by tenants that were established by the Roman Catholic Church in the early, 15, early 1500s. Money shouldn't be a means to an end and, and not a need for every human being. Every human being should be paid by the tax systems which their families contribute through the tax levy systems devised to keep the cash in circulation and to get rid of products from its outlets. Money should be made free to humans as it's a means of, for eating and living. 
Hence, every human being deserves to live a life without any strife or want, as they should be looked after by the tax systems when out of work or even sponsored into their own business ventures. People should not never be stressed because of economic systems. Life should never be about competition, but it, but it, it is it is in fulfilling your earthly purpose of living a life of love, fulfilling your every human need and human want without need to worry about economic systems. The human being was not born to suffer in the land of sunshine, milk, and honey. We Africans have to start thinking of our own populations who are now living in abject poverty because of the capitalistic systems in, in place set by the Europeans ages ago. The Freemasons own the land where the Zimbabwean and South African parliament stand on. Crazy stuff. Systems set from colonial times and imperial terms are still in control of our independence place of governance. Crazy, I think. This capitalistic, uh, this capitalistic tax systematic world we live in now was set to benefit Europe for eternity. Property rights should have been erased and started anew. Each person allocated a piece of land to own for their family heritage, established wherever they want to live. Life should not be full of strife. We are all economic slaves now chasing paper money we're all playing the game Monopoly on a real life scale here without the startup cash to play the game, which is just <laughs> we, <laughs> true. Europeans have got to a fine tea with their social service grants systems in place, where every 18 plus earns from the unemployed benefit fund, which is UB40. Everyone in Europe gets paid monthly to live on, and Africans need to pay to play to play catch up by looking after our populations too, and then our populations will become self-reliant with social systems in place which will aid them to become more industrious. Why have Europeans always hated communism? I wonder why. Capitalism is built on competition and who is best in class? At sport? Speaking? Cheating? <laughs> why create a competitive social environment where people have to compete to seem normal? Meaning, to be better than normal, you have to be number one in one specific field or study or, or overstanding. Everyone is created differently, and we all react differently to everything we learn, and our perceptions and interpre interpretations will be different for each individual. Hence, I believe that the current grading system in schools undermines the understanding of different interpretations from each individual's perceptions, or it lacks to correct it when the subject is, mis is misunderstood too. This current wealth-gathering, system, systematic-driven world is only just an illusion. Because wealth is, earth, is an earthly thing and shall be left behind when you pass on to the next life system. Human beings' main pursuit on earth should be to overstand self and overstand their connection with, the, with their creator and finding out their own gifts within which will make them creative human beings. Which we, we are born to be, which we are born to become. Everyone is born with a spiritual system within and learn to connect with it through meditation and solitude. The world's environmental systems are another co another concern. Global warming caused by po pollution from industrious in the, in, industrious countries need to be addressed ASAP. Take a look at the temperature of the North Pole now. Scary, I must say. If the world gets another four degrees hotter, London and New York will be under water. That is the introduction to eight systems. I think it's one of my best books. And uh, yeah, um, I hope you enjoy the, 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 the reading of the introduction. That's the introduction to eight systems.